Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Ines. I am a PhD student at Brandeis University and today we'll be talking to you a little bit about my story and how I decided to study science. Uh, hola a todos y todas. Uh, mi nombre es Ines. Soy estudiante de, de doctorado en Brandeis y es, hoy les voy a estar contando un poco sobre cómo llegué acá y por qué decidí estudiar ciencias. Um, my talk will be in English mostly, uh, but as you can see, my main language is um, Spanish. <laughs> so sorry if I commit any mistake. Uh, my English is not perfect and also feel free to talk to me or write an email to me uh, in Spanish if, if you want to. So who I am, <laughs> uh, who I am, who am I, and uh, why I think it's important telling you all of this is because I believe first representation is important uh, in science and second, because I do believe that science uh, is influenced by the person we are and where we're coming from. And, want, and, and I think that's, that's a good thing. So I'm Latino, I come from Argentina, uh, I'm queer, and I am an activist. I do believe that it is important to change the world to make it a better place for everyone. Uh, I'm also a feminist. And I think all of this influence the science that I do. I'm also uh, a scientist. As I told you, I come from Argentina, uh, which is really, 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 really south. I mark here uh, my home address back home in Buenos Aires and my home address here uh, in, in Massachusetts. Um, Argentina is a huge country. Um, it is surrounded by Chile, uh, Paraguay, Uruguay, uh, Bolivia, and Brazil. Um, we are <laughs> really known because of soccer. Uh, we're really good at soccer. Um, we are also known because of mate. Uh, this is Obama drinking mate, and this is the Pope that is actually also Argentinian. Um, we are also known because of our uh, human rights activism and history and human rights, human rights uh, activism in general. And of course, tango and many delicious uh, meals like dulce de leche and, 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 and asado. Um, throughout my life in Argentina, I always studied in public schools, um, public high school and public secondary and public also university. Um, but I have to say that um, public universities back home are also free. Uh, of church and and you don't have to take in a, any any weird uh exam to 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 enter or a special exam uh if any of you is interested in knowing about this or wants to go to study or to do some some research experience back back in argentina please write to me also so uh <laughs> so after finishing my 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 undergrad uh in universidad of buenos aires universidad of buenos aires i started sending a lot of emails and after many many notes and many many not answer emails, I got one yes, and this allowed me to start my PhD actually in the Middle East, in Israel. I started my PhD in Hebrew University, um, and then I moved for a few months to Berlin. And then my regional lab in Jerusalem moved here to Brandeis, and I got transferred. Uh, and that's how I ended up here. So why I decided to study science? Um, my question for me is, what do I want to do with my life? And um, the problem is that I really like many, many things. I enjoyed many, 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 many things. I was really interested in music. I am still am, and I'm still studying music like as a hobby. Uh, also arts, history of arts, anthropology, social science, biology. Um, so I was really confused about what I wanted to do. Um, or I want to do many things, and, 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 and that is interesting, but also uh, can be overwhelming. And the why science came in a moment in which I got um, actually this great opportunity, thanks to, to some friends, uh, of participating in something called synthetic biology. And that's when I realized that what I enjoyed of all these things, of sciences and, and art, was the creative thinking, being able to um, think in creatively and think in new ways and, 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 and also being with others and, 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 and the teamwork. And what made a science for me or what made the decision to go for science is to be able to solve real life problems. And 
uh, why I'm putting Lego parts here, basically because synthetic biology, what it does, it's, um, it allows you to take different genetic components, so different genes, promoters, activators, in, in, and, and create your own genetic circuits. So iGEM is this um, program, competition, et cetera, et cetera, that I was able to uh, participate in during my undergrad in Argentina, which um, they sent you a bunch of genetic uh, parts and you assemble them and you create whichever project you want. And what we did with my team was creating a bio sensor of arsenic in water, so of contaminants in water. So arsenic, it's um, really common in Argentinian uh, soil. So it's natural in, in, in the earth, which basically ends up in the water and through water uh, in, in, in people's bodies. And, and it's really toxic. So because we don't have much money, the main problem for, for Argentina was how do we do this in a in a in a cheap way, um, so we design we designed this um, arsenic uh, sensor, and we had a lot of fun doing that. So basically, this was what allowed me to go from like science, yes, I like enjoy it, but like to really in, to to really get the fun out of it, from like what well, to okay, yes, I want to do this. This this is what I want to do, and. So with that, what I'm doing now at Brandeis is I work with Drosophila melanogaster, which is a fly, like the ones you see in your kitchen, the, 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 this really annoying uh, animal. And we study or, or we use them as an as, um, animal model. And an animal model means literally uh, this is an um, animal that we use as a model to study either basic biology problems or um, disease in humans and, and so on and so forth. And why can we use this? Basically because flies, even they, though they are small and um, have uh, really complex behaviors and also have, because they have a complex behavior, they have a nervous system and they have a um, circulatory system. They have also body organization. So we can study similar things that one we can study in, in, in humans. And, not only that, even though you might not know it, or this might be surprising, we share a lot of genetic information. And of course, the genes are different, right? right? Like we are humans and, and flies are flies. Um, but we share a lot of things due to, due to evolution, of course. Um, and this allows us basically to, to manipulate and to study um, to study flies and, and manipulate genetically flies, but use the flies to study uh, for example, um, diseases in, in, in humans. And I am telling you all of these because the gene I, I, I study, it's called muscle blind or MBL. So MBL is short for muscle blind and muscle blind, uh, this gene takes its name because when you mutate it, uh, the flies are have problems with the muscles and are completely blind. <laughs> so um, I studied this gene um, and this gene, the homologue in humans, so the most um, common human gene, let's call it that way, as, as a way to explain homology, um, is actually responsible or is involved in a genetic disease called myotonic dystrophy. And myotonic dystrophy is, um, or dystrophia myotonica, that would be in Spanish, it's a disease that involves the muscles, so the muscles have a, a, a thing called myotonia. That's, that's one of, 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 the, of the problems. And because you have problems in the muscles, you start having problems also to swallow and to empty bowels. And, and, and there are other, other problems derived from that. They, these patients, so people with this genetic disease, which means this is a disease they, they, they get uh, because they have a problem in, in the genome and they get since, since they are born, have also a problem in, in the eyes. So um, they present cataracts as a really early age. So cataracts is a disease that basically um, the retina start fogging and, and then people stop being able to, to see properly. Uh, usually this happens in old people, like 70, 80 years old, these, uh, the, the patients with the disease gets this at 30, 20 years old. Um, okay, so recapping, I study the gene uh, in, in this gene that in humans is responsible for this disease and in flies, when you mutate, you have a similar, similar phenotypes. And what, what is interesting about using flies to study these, these type of things is that 
we can genetic we can manipulate genetically the flies right we can make mutants we can mutate genes uh, in the flies and of course in humans we cannot do it it's it's not ethical so um again i also want to recap that flies with problems in these genes um have um or, or that, that these genes in humans, sorry, uh, actually creates a lot of problems with, with muscles. So people, humans with, with problems with the gene have muscle problems. Um, so we study particularly one uh, version of this gene, which is circular, and that's why we call it circ MBL. Uh, and I'm going to show you what happens when we mutate this gene. So these are normal flies um, that when you tap, you put them in, in a flask and you tap them, basically they start falling, but they start, of course, flapping their wings or and trying to go up again and fly again. Uh, when we do the same experiments with mutant flies for these genes that have that, that produce in humans in the muscles, we have this situation, right? So these flies here, I hope you can see my 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 arrow, my pointer. You can see that these flies are already flapping their wings. While here, you can see how some flies, the mutant flies, start like going down and not being able to flap wings and all those kinds of of things. So. Basically, again, we have flies mutated, uh, mutants for, for gene that is important in humans, and, 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 and see what would happen. So because we have these flies, we can study these type of problems, but we can also understand or, or start to study what is making this fly sick. And this will allow us or allow us actually to go back to humans and, and try to see, okay, what, or try to understand this disease better. Um, and this is an end. I'm not going to explain all these, but this is, would be like the main results that I got throughout uh, my work in the lab. Um, that is basically that there is a difference between this sheen expression in the brain and in the eyes. That's why, for example, I mentioned you the cataracts in humans. Um, and th that the mechanism in both places is, is different and, and so on and so forth. So with all of this, um, I will be graduating soon, and the question is, what do we want to do next? Like, what can you do with, with, with a PhD, with, 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 a, with this type of, of title? So, of course, you can continue doing more science. You can go to do a postdoc, um, which is continue doing research, but without being a full professor. Um, and then you can go to be full professor and so on and so forth, or have your own lab. Uh, you can also do research in the industry. You can go to industry to work. You can also study law school and, <laughs> and to go to law school and study, become a patent uh, lawyer, for example. You can be a science editor and writer. And, and this is some extra that I put here um, during your or during my, my, my path through PhD. Um, I became really involved with diversity and inclusion, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And um, but it's also something like another path you can take, which is being an administrator or being um, uh, an advocate, but like uh, a paid <laughs> advocate, let's go that way. So you can have, you can work in, in universities having different roles. And with that, I want uh, to thank you and to thank everyone um, that uh, helped me along the way. Uh, I don't believe in these Hollywood stories of this uh, alone um, genius or, or, or alone uh, lonely lonely genius or lonely um, how you say this in, in English um, uh, hero anyway so uh, heroes I don't believe in heroes I, I think you, you, you're always supported by your family your friends and people around the way and that's it just remember that uh, it's really the people uh, which makes your your path amazing and here i just feel like pointing some some of of, of my of the people i met along the way uh, i have my my lab in buenos aires uh, where i did my undergrad thesis uh, my friends back home uh, people in germany uh, people in, in jerusalem my friends and and, and love here so thank you and again, any questions, uh, please write my email.